Hello everybody, Will here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take everyday objects, like a house plant, and generate MIDI information that you can use to control software, music, really anything at all. Alright, so the thing I'm using here is called Playtron, and it's made by a company called Playtronica. And it works off the principle of conductivity. And what that means is once a circuit is completed, it generates a MIDI message. And we complete a circuit by hooking up to one of these. You can see there's 16 different connection points along with two separate grounds. And anytime a circuit's completed, it generates a MIDI message. And once we get it hooked up and in the computer, I'll show you specifically. All right, so what I've done is I've made a connection point to my plant, and then I've connected it here. And then it's also important to ground yourself. So I've got it hooked up to a small metal spoon. So once I've grounded myself and I touch my plant, you can see that light turns red, and that lets us know that it's working. Now notice how it stays on for the entire duration I'm touching the plant, and then is released once I let go. So it's generating two MIDI messages here. The first one, MIDI note on. When it gets released, MIDI note off. Okay, and that's going to be important, and I'm going to show you here in a couple minutes why. But basically, that's what ha what's happening here with this device. And you can use anything that's conductive. So it doesn't have to be a plant or a metal object. You can use your imagination, and it's really cool um, to get these various controllers working. Now, understand that it doesn't make any difference to the sound what the object is. We're not hearing the plant or the spoon or anything like that. We're just using them to generate and complete the circuit um, there. So that's, that's what's happening here. And now I'm going to show you how you can use it with both your web browser and other software to, to make sounds. Now that we know what Playtron is, let's hook it up to the computer and get some sounds with it. So I've plugged in my Playtron via the USB cable to a port on my computer. And in my web browser, I'm at play.playtronica.com. Once I'm here, I can choose any of these presets that they've set up. And I'm going to choose Kalimba. Now that the Kalimba sound has loaded, I should be able to touch any uh, of my devices that I have set up. In this case, my plant. I ground myself and we should hear a sound. Cool, so that's working. And so that's how it works with your web browser. Now if I wanted to use this to its full potential, I could plug in 15 more conductive objects and each one of them would make a different sound um, and I could go through any of these drop downs and patches that they have for us and make some sounds with my Playtron. Now I'm going to show you a little different way if you might like to use it outside of the web browser. Okay, so here I am in Kima. I'm going to use my Playtron to trigger some sounds and leverage the MIDI information uh, to control this sound. Now you can use any comparable software or maybe even a digital audio workstation, anything that can receive MIDI information and then we can use it for whatever we want to. In this case I've designed a sound that's going to allow me to index a sample file by touching my plant. And what that means is that every time I touch the plant, I'm going to go to a new location, one of these that I've pre-specified. But the first thing I want to do is make sure that Playtron and Kima are talking. So what I'm going to do is go up here to the DSP menu, configure MIDI, and show my MIDI messages. Then I'm going to touch my plant to be sure and that's good news that means they are in fact communicating we can see the DN 36 UP 36 that's down when I touch the plant up when I release it 
and that 36 corresponds to the note number. MIDI note numbers go from 0 to 127, with 60 note number being 4C or middle C. So in this case, the 36 means that I'm two octaves below middle C, 4C, so I'm at 2C. All right, and that's going to become important here in a moment. The main thing is to understand that I am receiving these MIDI messages from my Bladetron. Okay, so I have my sound here in Kima. We know that I'm receiving MIDI information from my Playtron. And this is the specific point where I'm using the MIDI information from the Playtron. With this bit of code which says, key down, gate when key number equals 36, next index modulus 22. What does all that mean? What this is saying is that when a key down event happens, that's my MIDI note on from the Playtron, we're only going to allow it to gate or become a 1 when the key number specifically equals 36. And I grab that 36 because that's the one that I've hooked up to physically on the Playtron. That's where my plant is connected. It generates note on 36. So that's why I've put it there. Next index modulus 22 relates back to the samples sample index points here that I've pre-specified. There's 22 of them, so that's why the 22 here. Okay, so let's see via the virtual control surface here. You'll notice that I've got 0 to 21 because this starts counting at 0. And then when it gets to 21, it's going to wrap back around. So every time I touch my plant, we're going to see it go up. And it's choosing a new point in the file to index. It will stay at that point until I touch the plant again. All right, so that's one specific way that I can connect my Playtron to my computer and in this case leverage it with Kima. Now, this is pretty specific. If I wanted to do something more generic, I could get rid of this and just have key down next index modulus 22, which would ignore the 36, note number 36 uh, specifically, and just allow any key down event from my Playtron to allow the trigger to happen and move through the index points. Okay, but if I connect 16 conductive objects to my Playtron, I can bring them all in here and have them do specific roles, act as switches, different triggers, index files, turn sound on and off. What's important is the principle, and what you want to do is just find your, your MIDI log and see what events are being generated from the Playtron and then map them accordingly. This is just one way of doing that. So I hope that's been useful for you. I'm going to put some links in the description to pieces that I've done um, with Playtron and Kima where I'm using this exact method, just more in depth, um, but all working off this principle of, of triggers and information from the Playtron, controlling my sounds in Kima. So thanks for watching. If you have questions or any trouble getting this working with your particular setup, uh, leave a comment or question and I'll be happy to help you figure it out. And uh, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.